we fly three times a week into Nair into Mombasa. We fly using a CRJ 900 whose capacity is 76 passengers. Yeah. So on an average uh, per flight, we are looking at 80 percent. Yeah. Um, from Entebbe, we fly into 11 African countries. We have Tanzania in th with three destinations. We have Burundi. We have South Sudan. Um, we have South Africa, and we have upcoming destinations like Nigeria within the next three months. Yeah. I must say this is one destination we've seen growth um, from the time we started to date. Even uh, post-COVID, yeah, we have seen a lot of growth. Hence the need for us to shout more about it and uh, hoping to increase our frequency to this destination. We have both. We have both. Um, like I said earlier, we have a lot of uh, business traffic from Uganda who are coming to the port. Then we also have uh, Kenyans who are going to Uganda as a tourism destination. Yeah. How do you compare your business? Is it you're doing well, average? Or? We're doing well. It's, it's, again, like I said, there's been good growth. So I would say we're doing well. Probably in the near future, but currently we are concentrating on increasing the load between Entebbe, Mombasa and Mombasa, Entebbe. And uh, it's been good. Last year we held a tourism conference at Pride Inn and uh, we had close to 100 travel trade partners from Uganda and uh, 50 travel trade partners from Kenya visited Uganda on a farm trip. So. So it is a route that we are very keen on because if you look at the outbound into Kenya, if I may talk about that, a uh, majority of Ugandans fly into Mombasa and by extension Diani to attend or organize weddings, parties, come for holidays, honeymoon and what have you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, in Uganda, we are focusing more on the regional market. By regional, I mean Africa. We are trying very hard to promote intra tourism within Africa. So there is a Viga in wildlife um, products marketing, there is Viga in cultural tourism marketing, there is also a lot of Viga in mice. So we are encouraging more. Uh, Africans to visit Uganda in line with uh, entertainment tourism, <coughs> cultural tourism, adventure tourism, which includes hiking like uh, in Mount Ruenzori, mice, which is also picking up pretty well. And uh, of course, remember, um, Uganda is the source of River Nile from ginger, and River Nile has got a lot of products that many Kenyans can uh, can get experience from yeah we as members of parliament are engaging in uh, what we are now calling taking bilateral talks and engagements away from formal settings to informal settings and it's working very well we are here to support uh, his excellency the president's bid to strengthen relations with our partners uh, within the East African region and even uh, uh, beyond uh, the regions. Uh, today we had uh, quite a number of uh, Uganda members of parliament playing with uh, us here and we are happy that uh, all that started uh, uh, a few years ago is progressing very well. I also want to take this opportunity to encourage us to continue supporting uh, business uh, between our brotherly and friendly nations within East Africa. And as we all know, in the East African region, Uganda is one of our uh, biggest trading partners. It is one of uh, our uh, partners in uh, a lot of areas and arenas. Let's use this opportunity to strengthen these ties even more. Let's use these opportunities to even uh, encourage uh, cross-border trade. Let's use this opportunity 
to encourage tourism across uh, the two countries. And uh, with all these initiatives, I'm sure East Africa will be a better place to live. East Africa will be a better place to visit. And uh, courtesy of our leadership, thank you so much. As we all know, sports is a very unifying factor. When we meet as members of parliament, be it within ourselves, within Kenya, we could be having different ideologies, but we play as a team. And even when we meet with our counterparts from Uganda, we play as a team. We don't go, we don't do politics when you are doing golf as a such. And uh, it brings some brotherhood, it brings us closer. Of course, we network through other means, but this is something that certainly is going to go on for a very long time. There was a time we also wanted to do this with our Tanzanian counterpart. But unfortunately, Tanzania seems to be having a very small um, number of golfers from their parliament. But it's something that uh, three years ago, we also had a tournament with them. But uh, so far, what I know about the East African community, the strongest golf teams are Kenya and Uganda. Well, before tourism, I think what is important is uh, the kind of peace that these games tend to create. You know, when you meet as a team, you are just concentrating on playing of uh, uh, that uh, particular game. But of course, when we go to Rwanda, for instance, or when we are going to have them in Kenya, you can imagine we normally have, uh, we, we get visitors of a thousand during that time. You see, you can imagine all six or seven East African countries with all the displays. So it's basically uh, promotes tourism in the host country that normally hosts. Uh, we started with Kenya, we went to Tanzania, we went to Burundi, we went to South Sudan, we were again in Arusha, again in Tanzania. This time we're going to Rwanda. So definitely it creates some economic activity within the host country, which is basically good. But the most important thing is uh, the kind of unity that it brings within the East African community.